If we cannot survive, who will assume the mantle of the advocacy? I fear there are not three worthy candidates from among our ranks. Then pray that our current attempt at the refrigeration plant meets with success. To, to life, life immortal. immortal. You've been away from battle far too long. It will be good to resume. The failure of our comrades to maintain control of the refrigeration plant is something of a setback. Agreed. But it's hardly cause for serious concern. We have more than enough coolant to see our invasion through to its victorious conclusion. To, to life, life immortal. immortal. For once, everything is proceeding according to plan. Yes. With new human hosts arriving every hour. These pathetic Earthlings have even less intelligence than our own planet's vegetation. Our own planet. If only we could see it one last time. Erase those thoughts from your mind, comrade. Our planet is already well into its final death rattle. You must remember that this planet is our home now. As it will be home to those on the way. Our colonists are relying upon us to be strong. The three of us. Of course. I must remember to deal with what is, not with what might have been. I appreciate your patience, comrades. My lapse will not be repeated. We have much to be grateful for. Within 24 hours, we will have increased our numbers by twofold. And now on the lighter side of the news, apparently it's that time of year again. Our station has received numerous local reports of, quote, an invasion by aliens from another planet. We checked with nearby Goodwin Army Base and public relations officers there have confirmed that military personnel were involved in routine training exercises at the time of the alleged incident. So far, no aliens have come forward to dispute these reports, but our door is open is yours. We believe that our detection device has found the object of our search advocate. Believe? Why are you not yet certain? The object is still buried deep in the ground. Where it does us no good. Why the delay, comrade? Progress is slow, advocate, since we need to move with extreme caution. I believe the decision to occupy the bodies of motorcycle enthusiasts has complicated this. Explain yourself. These bodies are attracting unwanted attention from other humans. Use your best judgment, comrade. And keep us advised of your progress at each stage. Recovery of the machine will go a long way toward guaranteeing our victory. True. Assuming the machine is still operational. Is it just me, comrades, or do the complexities of our invasion grow more and more tangled at every step? No one ever said war was easy. Our warship is in surprisingly good condition. I've ordered them to check out all the weapons and flight systems, and report back to us before they start their return flight. I wish we'd decided to go with them. I'm worried they will not do all that is necessary. They'll do exactly what we ask of them. They know nothing else. In a matter of hours, the most powerful weapon this planet has ever seen will be again in our hands and functional. Those who come will be pleased. The machine still won't fly, but the beam works. We must get the beam back here as quickly as possible. Nothing is more important than for us to retrieve the weapon. They understand this, but they're unsure how to accomplish getting it here. Must we tell them everything? If the ship won't fly, we have no choice but to transport the weapon overland. And if our comrades meet resistance? Then we will remind the puny Earthlings how our death ray works. Nothing can be allowed to delay their return. Our very future rests in their hands. A concept I remind you that we should only accept with great trepidation. We are about to receive another report from the field. Certainly they haven't encountered any new problems. Can you hear me, Advocate? Yes. We still have to remove the beam controls from the ship. It will take us a number of hours. You are bound to be discovered. We have been discovered. Several of the Earthlings know we're here and what we're doing. If they interfere, eliminate them. You are to take no prisoners. 
Do what you must under the cover of darkness, comrade. You can't afford to risk further interference. We are nothing without the beam. Do not fail us. Did you accomplish your task? We have obtained the Y fever. Good. Bring the biotoxins to us. We cannot. The one called Jefferson has them and is no longer with us. Has he been captured? No, he suffered some form of mutation. Mutation? Of what manner? Uncertain, but linked with the toxins of the primitives. Then we are also vulnerable to the substance. All the more cause to retrieve it. Find the one called Jefferson and bring us the Y fever. It is our command. Do not return without it. We are nothing without your counsel. We can depend upon the self-destructive nature of the primitives. It is our greatest ally and our greatest enemy. This is truly a filthy place. Where are the others? I am the only survivor, Advocate. And the Y fever biotoxin? Destroyed. What was our command? To return with the desired substance, Advocate. You are nothing without our counsel. It is as always. Then you must meet your obligation. Someday this war will be over. To, to life, life immortal. immortal. This is not working. We have no other choice. At least none that our reduced mental capacity can figure out. If we hope to cure the sickness, we'll need more brains, living brains. And we'll need more power. That means moving openly among the humans. We will be vulnerable without any support. How can we give guidance to others when we can barely guide ourselves? I'm only thinking of the dangers. The dangers of failure far outweigh any other consideration. We are nothing without your counsel, Advocate. A most prophetic observation. Originally, we'd intended to push our brain matter to good use. Now you vile creatures can serve a higher purpose. Now we will use your bodies. Bring us the three strongest, as you wish. Field tested the poisonous spore extensively, Advocate. The results have been most encouraging. So, the pressure on our scientists to develop a toxic weapon has finally proved effective. It has. Taken internally by the Earthlings, the spore's lethal properties are catastrophic. Properly used, the spore will completely eliminate all putrid bacteria in human life on this planet. And the method for introducing this poison into our enemy society? I have several teams searching for the most expedient means to achieve this. Excellent, Commander. At least we were successful in launching three of the freighters full of the spore before we were discovered. True. But logic tells us that the enemy will also figure this out. And that the loathsome creatures will prevent those freighters from reaching their destinations. Do you wish to comment on this, Commander? We may have been stopped this time, but we still have the ability to manufacture the toxic spore. In time, I know we'll find another method of introducing it. To life, immortal. There is a 96.875% probability that the human race will eliminate itself as a direct result of tribal warfare. All the pathetic creatures need is a push in the proper direction. We need immediate action, Commander. Not subtleties. Not wishing to disagree. Then do not. But direct intervention has failed us time and time again. It would be more accurate to say that it was you who has failed us, Commander. Be forewarned, Commander. You must not fail us again. Commander. You are making progress? The fabrication of a nuclear device is, to use a crude earthly expression, nothing more than child's play. It should be ready shortly. You are still certain that exploding this device will create enough suspicion between the planet's tribes to incite open warfare? 
and their eventual self-annihilation? I stake my very existence on it. No, Commander. You stake our existence on it. To life, immortal. Take this device to those who will be responsible for its placement. As you wish, Commander. Remind our comrades that nothing can interfere with planting the device in its proper location in the time allotted. I hear your command. Proceeding according to plan. The plan is in motion. We cannot stop it, even if we wanted to. Watching television has paid off again. But it takes its toll, softens the brain. There, the starter for our warships. We must get that starter. It must mean there's a ship nearby. If we had a warship, our battle on this garbage heap of a planet would be different. We would be unstoppable. We must get the starter, then the warship, then victory. What are your standing orders, comrade? That you not be interrupted, advocate. Yet there you stand, in defiance of these orders. I assume that you'd be interested in the latest communique from our action squad, Advocate. Mm -hmm. They report that all is going smoothly, as hoped. It's safe to say, then. The crystal is in their possession. It is. Presently, the squad is moving cautiously, yet expeditiously toward the objective. Excellent. See that we're informed the moment they reach the landing site. As you order, Advocate. It will be refreshing to finally Report positive progress to Council. You may proceed with your report, Comrade. We've secured the vessel, Advocate. It's a very early model, but all systems seem to be operating in good order. This is excellent news, Comrade. Board the battlecraft and return here with all haste. The Advocacy demands the honor of personally leading the way to victory. As you order, Advocate. And your wishes regarding our hostages? Kill them. Wait. 
let the earthlings live. As messengers of fear, the humans will undoubtedly spread despair among their kind. The ensuing chaos will help our push with a final solution. The beginning of the end of human life on this planet. Exactly, comrade. A most comforting thought. You life immortal. Time grows short. We progress little in our attempt to adapt to this alien environment. As the humans pollute the air more and more, survival becomes questionable. Theirs or ours? We believe that we have solved the problem of human spoilage. You have devised a way we can examine humans safely? On the screens, Advocate. We have taken over the human bodies of two paramedics and have commandeered their ambulance. We will have a mobile surgery. You have done well. I cannot do anything without your counsel. Not only shall we continue our experiments, but we will create panic and terror among the humans. To life immortal. Humans are decidedly social animals. They rely heavily on their ability to communicate with others of their species. Suggesting? Suggesting that by disrupting their communications, we will also disrupt their society. The ensuing chaos will leave the humans highly vulnerable to all forms of attack. Then it's time for us to step up our operations. We must deal the humans a blow that they will not easily forget. Be patient. Even now, soldiers are moving into position to steal the power source you require. Understood. We are nothing without your counsel. To life immortal. One of our units reports there is a secret meeting of humans from across the planet who know of our existence. It has always been amusing how long it took for the humans to organize any global resistance. This meeting could be a major opportunity for us. If we find the location of that meeting and destroy those human leaders, our task on this planet will be considerably easier. Your counsel is wise. This shall be our number one priority. To life, immortal. To life, immortal. Why do I like looking at this? I do not know, but I like it too. Advocacy. Intelligence has collected vital information. The humans meet near the city called Philadelphia. It is imperative we locate that meeting. Our kind is spreading across that city as we speak. Advocate, we are expecting intelligence any moment from one of our agents. They say we will value this information greatly. That is not good enough. We need faster action. Time is wasting. If you cannot fulfill the mission, we will find agents who can. What advocate? Silence. I am nothing without your counsel. Should we send more troops? We should send operatives who are more efficient. Yes, Advocate. We've narrowed down the location. It's in a section outside of Philadelphia called Cheltenham. Yes, we know. You know? One of our foreign operatives has managed to contact us from inside the meeting. We have the exact location and are making plans to destroy them. This is the most important operation we have had since arriving on this planet. We succeed now. We will have taken a giant step in annihilating the humans once and for all. And the Earth shall be ours. In the name of those who come and those who went before. To life, immortal. To life, immortal. Now it is too late to move our young. You must defend the embryos with your lives. Our future depends on it. We hear your command. These humans are treacherous. We'll be doing a great service for the entire universe to kill each and every one of these revolting human beings. Death to all humans! They are destroying us street by street, city by city. Who is they? Who is killing us? Humans.
ones who have found a way of recognizing us. But how? We are invisible inside their repulsive primitive bodies. It is obvious that is no longer the case. We must warn all units of this new and growing danger. Our soldiers must avoid human contact except where absolutely necessary. Our communications link has been broken. So it would appear. But by whom? What is the true nature of this killing menace? Discover that, comrades, and we will discover the means of fighting back. An obvious trick to lure us into a trap. The idiocy of the humans never ceases to amaze me. Idiocy, comrade, or brilliance. Trap or not, it would appear we must take their bait if we ever hope to learn their secret. And so it shall be. We have good news, advocate. We are here. Speak. We have located the Synth Assassin from Guarto. Then bring it here. We cannot advocate. We are too few in number. Remain where you are then. We will lead this momentous battle ourselves. Bring us fresh human bodies. We also need to prepare a circuit disabler weapon to destroy the Synth. One will be constructed immediately. Those bodies should do nicely. To life immortal.